I'm going to show how I make my blue tongue skink chow. It's a lot more basic than a lot of other recipe videos that I've seen on YouTube. Um, so I figured I'm making a big batch. I'm just going to show you how I do it. To start, what's in the bowl here in front of me, this is butternut squash. And this is about 16 ounces of the um, fresh, clean, cubed market side squash that is found with the salad and like pre chopped cold salt mixes at Walmart. And you just steam it or boil it to cook it. And then in this case, I put it through my food processor till it was kind of this chunky sort of consistency. You can mash it by hand, or if you want, you can even puree it. Um, if you add water to it, the more water you add as you are putting it through your food processor or um, mashing it by hand with like a potato masher, the more of a puree, like baby food consistency you're gonna get. You can use a squash baby food if you want. Just make sure it doesn't have any kind of spices or anything added to it. I personally like to use the beech nut organics whenever I'm using baby food in my mixes. And then I am going to be mixing with this in about a 50% ratio some dog food. Now this is a grain free, high quality dog food. This particular one is Crave, it's the chicken. I'm gonna kinda give you a show of the ingredients here on the back. My camera doesn't wanna. So it's chicken, chicken broth, chicken liver, chicken heart, pork broth, dried egg, some natural flavor, fish oil, bunch of vitamins and minerals. There's no potatoes, there's no grains, and as you can see, it's 12% protein and about 5% fat. So I'm gonna mix this with the squash, so it's about 50% squash and about 50% Crave dog food. There's other dog food brands out there you can use as long as it's grain free, potato free, um, you can use it. So um, a lot of people like to use Zignature, the Wellness Core usually meets those requirements. Um, I have used Pure Balance before, which is a Walmart brand in the Grain Free. I just found, personally, the Crave has gotten me the best growth rate with my skink. Ever since I, I switched to Crave, I've had no loose stools, and he has just hit a late growth spurt. His growth started really, really slow in the beginning, even though he was a baby. But the moment I started using the Crave regularly, he just started growing and growing and growing. So that's why I've been using the Crave. I've just had really good results with it personally. So that's what I'm using. And then after that is mixed together, because I'm going to spare you the boringness of me actually mixing stuff, I'm going to add in some vegetables. Typically I use the fresh um, mixed greens that are a combination of mustard, turnip, and collard greens and chop that up and put in it because you want a variety when it comes to greens and your vegetables, not just one thing. However, because I want to mix it up and I don't want it to always be the same tune, today I am actually using this arugula that I pre-chopped to find get chunky pieces. So I'll be adding that in there. And I'll probably use this entire bowl. Um, and just for reference, the amount of squash that is currently blended in the big bowl filled this entire blue bowl that I currently have the arugula in. Just to kind of give you um, an idea of the ratio I'm using. So I'm using about 50% the amount of squash that I have in there when it comes to the arugula. And then I'm also adding in 
I have some frozen chopped turnip greens that I'm going to go ahead and add in there. They're pretty finely, finely chopped already. And they're wet and they're mushy. So I'm going to mix in this entire bag as my other variety. And then with everything mixed together, it makes a very nice like very chunky pate. If it's too thick, I might add a little bit of water if I need to to thin it out. But then everything's gonna be going into these ice cube trays. These are a standard ice cube tray, but this bottom blue part is silicone. So I can press them in to pop the cubes out nice and easy. And they have lids off to the side, which is really nice. Now, I only have two of these trays, so I'm probably going to have more mash than I do trays. So I will actually be freezing it in several batches um, over the next few days until I have it all frozen in these cubes. The cubes will get popped out and they will be stored into gallon sized Ziploc bags for me to store in the freezer. And I wanna note, cause this seems like I said, pretty bland and not a lot of stuff compared to what you see a lot of other people use. This is more of a base. And I keep several different formulas on hand. This is not the only thing that he's gonna get day in and day out for the next several months. When I take out a cube or two and I dethaw them, before I will feed this to him, there'll be certain days that I might add some some carrots over the top or some bell pepper or if i have collard greens in the fridge that day i'll chop up some collard greens and add that to them um, to it before i actually feed it to him so this is kind of a base and for variety's sake um at each feeding things will get added into it and like i said that's gonna vary greatly um this is also only my skink mash formula one, during the spring, once spring comes and things start blooming and budding again, I will actually be making a spring formula, which will get rotated with this. And my spring formula, I actually have, I'm going to be using this. So these are Stella and Chewy mixers, and this is the Instinct Raw Boost mixers. They're both raw food. Again, it has uh, chicken, chicken broth, chicken with the bone, um, the chicken organs, and then it has a lot of uh, fruit and like kale and all kinds of other veggies in it. And I soak this, this in water first, mash it up till I get like the pate out of the can consistency, and use this as my dog food base. And then I will add in the special spring stuff which is uh, hibiscus petals and dandelion leaves, most notably. And then I'll add like a little bit of extra fruit in there or something like that or a different kind of um, green or something. But the spring part of it is the fact that it, it contains the dandelion leaves and the hibiscus petals. It's what makes it spring and then that'll get frozen it'll get stored the same way as what i'm making today and then when i start dethawing food for him i will just mix up back and forth you know which one am i giving him am i giving him the formula a that i'm making today or am i giving him the spring mix and then of course stuff will randomly get added to either one of those like i mentioned bell pepper carrots to the common some kind of different green that I happen to have on the day. I'll throw some peas in there if I happen to open a can of peas to make a, a recipe for myself. And, you know, I, I might put aside maybe like six of the peas or something, rinse them, mash them, and, and add them in on, on top of one of these mixes, that sort of thing. He gets days where he gets bugs instead of mash, and he's got days um, he gets treats of fish and pinkies, boiled chicken and egg and stuff like that through, throughout 
the week. So he doesn't just get fed this simple mash I'm making every single day. He gets lots of variety with it. Crested Gecko Diet makes a good um, salad dressing to add on top of one of these or in with one of these things for some variety, rapashi stuff like that. So this is just a base. I have a newborn on the way, so I need to get a big batch of stuff frozen. That's going to be nice, quick, and easy <laughs> during the first couple of, of uh, hectic weeks. So I'm going to be getting um, a big batch of rapashi, um, either Bluey Buffet or the Bearded Dragon Buffet, actually made and frozen into molds as well. So I have two different things before the spring blooms come ready to go that I can easily just mix and match for variety with them <laughs> during those first, those first couple of, you know, 10 or so weeks um, home with baby. So um, this is just one of many recipes. It's what I do for my boy. He likes it. He likes the spicy vegetables, so he's really going to like this arugula in today's mix. He hasn't had spicy veggies all winter, so it's part of the reason why I'm doing the arugula in the batch today. Got to mix it up. Um, so the only thing I want to note is a lot of bluey mash mixes incorporate some sort of fruit as their base, and feeding fruit every day can actually cause diarrhea. Depending on the kind of fruit, it can cause a phosphorus to calcium imbalance, which can lead to MBD. So my boy does not get fruit on a daily basis. I add it only to the spring mix. And because <laughs> hibiscus petals are in a lot shorter supply than going out to the store for arugula or turnip greens or whatever, um, it my spring mix is a much smaller batch, so it actually will maybe get fed once a week compared to like the rapashi and this mix A. So maybe once a week he'll get some fruit and I try to keep it minimal. Try to keep variety, that's the important thing to remember. Keep your variety. And mine is just one of recipe on the internet. So don't feel pressured to follow my recipe or to follow another particular recipe you follow. Try different things, see what your skink likes and make, pick like five of your favorite recipes. Make maybe a smaller batch than the one that I am today, freeze it, store it, and every day you give them a different, different one of those recipes. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and I will attempt to answer them whenever I can.